This purchase includes a fully rigged businessman character with about 20 custom poses and the renders are super duper quick around 14 seconds in cycles and 10 seconds in Eevee. And this is the wireframe view. Now we're at the overview part of the video. Everything is timed in the description. So just check out what you need to check out in the timestamps down below in the description. So if you need rigging part or custom poses, just check out the description down below. Also, if you need a more in-depth video about how to navigate inside Blender, you can check out this video, which I made, Blender 3D Illustration Character. Here, I made a video where it's more in-depth, so check out that. If not, let's continue. Now we're at the Blender version part of the video. Fairly simple stuff. I'm using the latest Blender 3.3. Just go on to blender.org and download, and you can download it right here on the website. Yeah, it's gonna work with the latest Blender one. Maybe the poses might not work on the older ones. Well, they will work. Basically, they will work just if you can use the latest Blender version. Okay, now we're at the checking out the rig part of the video. Um, yeah, let's just uh, navigate it. One thing I recommend for you to do is to enable simplify because it's gonna help you with the lag in the viewport. Just turn everything you can down so it's not as laggy. It's still slightly laggy, but uh, it should be fairly good. Okay, anyways, checking out the rig. We have all these layers. You can enable tweaking layers if you need. For example, I don't know, you wanna adjust the torso even more or you want to adjust the arms even more basically we have everything you can move the feet like that you can make him stand up like lift his heel i guess the boss best part is the eye rig it's fairly good you can close the eyes confidently you won't have no eye glitches you can also close them from the down below in case he's an alien you can also open up the mouth you can speak clearly, everything is awesome. You can puff up the cheeks in case someone hits him. Um, yeah, of course, move the eyes as well if he needs to look somewhere. Basically, the rig is pretty good for animations, poses, or whatever needs you have. Now we're at the changing poses part of the video. Keep in mind, this is the latest Blender, so it's slightly different. The first thing you have to do is to select the rig, so it should be orange, not the pants or stuff like that, but the rig itself, it should be orange. And then you go into the top left and go to the pose mode. And then a new tab should appear on the right side. It's called animations. And now you will have all these custom poses, which you can use. I recommend looking in more into this more because it's fairly awesome and quite complex you can do a bunch of things with this but we only made it for poses but you can just click on them and they should work you can either not select anything or click on them or you select everything and then you click on changing the poses but I'm, I recommend just not clicking on anything basically you have nothing selected and then you just change your poses like that you can also flip poses if you want so for example this pose he has his right hand I guess yeah and now he's gonna do the same thing with his left we have the pose flipped looks cool and then you can disable it and it should still work great you can see him switching legs and stuff awesome stuff um yeah that's about it how to change poses in the latest blender version now we're at the exporting renders part of the video it's fairly basic stuff make sure you're in object mode actually you have you can be in any mode you want just go to the top left corner, make sure the rig, uh, the light setup is enabled. You can do that by here, but it's, you don't have to enable the eye. You just need to enable the render, the, the camera icon thingy. But basically just go to the top left, click on render image. Maybe if you want, you can set up your render settings. Uh, I selected Eevee. It's quite laggy. You can see the graphic is not the best because it's Eevee. So I'm gonna actually switch to cycles here. 
maybe I can change my resolution if I want to. I don't, but in case you want, you can do all the things here. Then click on render image again. We're gonna wait for cycles to render a better image than Eevee because I'm just a fan of cycles. Eevee is not for me, but anyways, we're gonna wait for the sampling. It's going up, it's going up, and we have our image done. To save it, just simply go to the top left corner and click on save as, and then just save wherever you need the image to be and you're done. Now we're at the creating custom pose part of the video. Let's start off by first going into the pose mode. So let's select the rig, make sure not the clothing or anything like that is selected, but the rig is selected and we'll go to pose mode in the top left corner. We'll first go into our default T pose in the, it's gonna be right at the bottom. This one, you can see the image, make sure nothing is selected. So in case, for example, I have this square selected and I click on this uh, thing, you will notice that it kind of glitches and doesn't change the pose. So you have to make sure you either select everything with A and then you can switch to poses or make sure nothing is selected. So nothing is blue and then you switch poses. And yeah, in our case, we're gonna switch to the businessman default pose. And now let's start by creating our custom pose. He's just gonna, I don't know, wave. We're gonna do very quick bad pose because um, yeah, we already made 20 poses, so I'm not gonna <laughs> bother too long, but uh, you can see I'm moving the elbow and stuff. You can also see the camera in the top right. Let's put up the shoulder a bit so it's not that weird. Let's also point one of the fingers down for some reason. Um, you can still go to the finger details here and you can see more details appear. Uh, I'm gonna just have more details in the finger because I want to close them a bit more like that. Looks weird. I don't know what he's doing. Um, let's uh, open up the mouth. Let's rotate it a bit down for some reason. Let's put the head like that. Let's let's put the other hand on his sleeve like that. I'm pressing numpad right next to the zero. Maybe it's gonna show, yeah, numpad period. In the top left, you can see the red. That allows you to lock the camera around an object. So I just did that and I'm gonna do like that. Um, open up his legs a bit like that. It's a bad pose, but it's done. So the one thing you have to make sure when you're done with your pose, so you don't lose it, is to make sure you have nothing selected. So currently nothing is blue. Okay, now once you have nothing selected, saving a pose is fairly easy. Just press A and make sure all of the layers you moved are selected and just click on create pose asset. And now on the top left, you should have a create pose asset. You can name it properly. So in our case, it's gonna be weird new pose and it's saved. Now you can see in the bottom, if we let's say switch to the business standing, business waving, and then we go to weird, weird, weird new pose, you can see our pose works in case in case when you switch poses, this happens and basically, yeah, the poses are not happening. Again, make sure nothing is selected once when you switch poses. You can see if I have nothing selected, everything works. I keep repeating this part, but again, this is an issue that a lot of people make, so just make sure you don't do that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Everything that you need will be down in the description below and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.